Hey guys, this is Brandon with The Roofing Channel. Today, we're talking about roofing terminology to clear up any confusion that you may have when talking with a roofer. This video is gonna go over terminology that the homeowner is going to hear, and we're not gonna cover anything obvious, so you won't see things like chimneys appear on this video. We're also gonna have below timestamps to all the definitions and what times we go over them, so click on that if you're just here to figure out a couple things. We're also gonna be providing pictures when possible, and without out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. Roof decking or sheathing is the same thing. It's the wooden foundation that all your other components are nailed onto. It comes in either OSB or plywood if you're talking sheets, or it comes in wooden planks. The main thing with decking and sheathing is that you don't want to try to get it wet because then it's going to rot and you're going to have to replace it. Flashing is a metal material that's meant to direct water away from walls and structures that come up through your roof. It comes in three different types, apron, counter, and step flashing, and it comes in three different metals, aluminum, steel, and copper. Underlayment is either a synthetic or felt material that's placed over your decking or sheathing to protect it from water. Ice and water shield is like an extra beefy version of underlayment. It's placed in areas of heavy water flow and risks of ice damming. Its main purpose is to protect you against leaks. Rakes simply refer to the edge of the roof that runs at a slope. Eaves refer to the edge of a roof that runs horizontally. Facets refer to the different sections or the sides of a roof. For instance, this roof shown here has 13 facets. A square is a unit of measurement that's commonly used by roofers and it simply refers to a 100 square foot area. Prorated and non-prorated when you're talking about roofing refers to the manufacturer's warranty. A prorated material is going to lose value each year as it gets older, but a non-prorated material is going to keep the same value as long as it stays non-prorated. Valleys are when two roof facets meet at a slope to form an interior angle. A hip is when two roof facets meet at a slope to form an exterior angle. A gable is the triangular section underneath where two roof facets overhang over a wall. It's commonly used to refer to a popular ventilation spot, the gable end vent. Drip edge is a metal component that's nailed to your decking at the edge of the roof line. It's to keep water that's running off of your roof from wicking back and getting your decking wet. Fascia is located right below the rakes and the eaves of your roof line and it can serve a decorative purpose, but it can also serve a practical purpose as your drip edge. A soffit is installed right underneath your fascia where a roof overhangs a wall. It's pretty common for roofers to install an intake vent right where a soffit is located. A dormer is a section of your roof that juts out, usually as a window, and forms its own little small section of mini roof. Starter shingles are a strip of material where the first layer of shingles are nailed onto. Roof pitch refers to the steepness of your roof. It's usually formatted in an X12 fashion where X equals the rise and 12 is the run. An 812 pitch will rise eight feet every 12 feet of length. Caulking a roof refers to using sealant to fix up any leaks. If you correctly caulk a roof, it should last a couple years. A cricket is a sloped double triangular structure that's meant to divert water around chimneys and walls. If you wanna go more in depth into some of these roofing terms, then click on the link below. It'll take you to our Roofing Academy playlist, which deep dives into a lot of the roofing components. I'm Brandon with The Roofing Channel. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.